More than 5.7 billion doses have been administered globally, but only 2% of those have been administered in Africa. This leaves people at high risk of disease and deaths exposed to a deadly virus against which many other people around the world enjoy protection. This does not only hurt the people of Africa, it hurts all of us. The longer vaccine inequity persists, the more the virus will keep circulating and changing, the longer the social and economic disruption will continue, and the higher the chances that more variants will emerge that render vaccines less effective. So far, COVAX has shipped more than 260 million doses to 141 countries. But as you know, COVAX has also faced several challenges with manufacturers prioritizing bilateral deals and many high-income countries tying up the global supply of vaccines. Last year, the African Union established the African COVID-19 Vaccine Acquisition Task Team, or ABAT, as a complement to COVAX to purchase vaccines for the AU member states. We call on manufacturers to prioritize COVAX and AVAT. We call on countries that have already achieved high coverage levels to swap their near-term vaccine deliveries with COVAX and AVAT, to fulfill their dose-sharing pledges immediately, and to facilitate the sharing of technology, know-how, and intellectual property to support regional vaccine manufacturing. We call on all countries and manufacturers to share information on bilateral deals with COVAX and AVAT so we understand where vaccines are needed most, and to share information on supply and delivery projections so countries can be ready to immediately roll out vaccines when they land. And we call on all countries to recognize all vaccines with WHO emergency use listing. In total this year, we expect to have a total of 1.4 billion doses available for delivery. This is enough to protect 20% of the population in the 91 lower income economies eligible for doses in the advanced market commitment. By March, this number will rise to 2.6 billion, which is enough to protect 37% of the population in these countries. So I think we've, we've demonstrated that COVAX can work at scale, but it's really time for the world to get behind it. That's why last week we called on governments to recommit with further action. Join us in telling manufacturers to make the supply schedules transparent. Intellectual property rights, more technology transfer. As AVAT and the African Union, we want to buy vaccines. We're not asking for donations. You can donate to us if you so wish, but our basis is not a donation. That means we want access to purchase. We call on, on those countries that have put restrictions on exports, exports of vaccines as finished products, exports of ingredients, drug substance. These restrictions are even more urgent for us today than intellectual property because the intellectual property doesn't deliver a vaccine to us tomorrow. But an export ban lifted in the United States, in Japan, in China, in Korea, South Korea, India, that will give us vaccines immediately. So we urge you to put that into the mix. UN General Assembly, so by next September. According to the International Health Regulations, which is an agreement that member states have reached together, uh, it is not to have requirement of um, vaccination, proof of vaccination for international travel, except for a vaccine that is widely available. And I think as we've discussed, these vaccines are anything but widely available. 